Have you ever wondered how to get a, a lid off like this on a five gallon container, whether it be paint, sheetrock mud, or whatever? In this case, this is a particular cleaner, and I got this lid off without pulling this tab. Now, on, on lots of them, see this right here? That right there, you break that, and then you grab this. So you just snap that off, cut that off right there, and then you can zip that off and pull it all the way around. Then that, that releases these little holes. Okay, you got a hole there, a little line there, see? That's all the way around. So if you were to rip this off, I'm not gonna rip this one off, okay? But you could rip that off and zip it off, like that. And then you can take between each one of these lines, you can take this with both hands and just bend that up. And then go over here and bend this one up and kind of hold that. And then go over to the next one and bend up with both hands. And then you, and then you can get the lid off by just lifting up these little pieces. You can't do that until you pull that zip. Well, if you, if you don't want to do that, how else would you get that off? You could buy a tool like this, okay? And then you use that. Now, I, I don't ever buy one of these. They just happen to have one of these here. Then you would grab this underneath the edge and you're gonna pull up a little bit at a time. I've already done it and pulled this off, but I always zip this off first. Then I just pull, pop, 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 and do it that way. So if you ever see one of these, that's what it's for. And that's how you're gonna pull that up, either that way or pull the zip. Now, you know. Now, if you were wondering, see, sometimes on your cleaning buckets like this, or maybe even a paint bucket, you might see a top like this. You could take that, this particular one unscrews, okay? Then there might be a little cap there that you can pull out. Now you can dump this straight in without pulling the lid off. But usually that's for like cleaners and stuff. And in this case, I've snapped this back on here for the cleaner that I'm gonna try using. And uh, I'll probably end up just pouring like that. But as for paint, I mean, the paint store would have to, would have to mix this up. Then you'd have to take it out to a paint job and you'd have to use it directly straight away. I like to, I like to kind of mix it a little bit with a paint stick anyways, you know. And so, anyways, if you want to take that off, that way you can do that too. Now, dabbity nabbit, I just snapped this on and I wanted to show you the cleaner that I'm going to use. And so, I guess I'm going to have to take this off. So, I'll just show you. See, you just kind of grab it on there, lift this, and keep doing that business. And there's a little lip there, so you got to make sure you're beyond that. Okay, like so. And then slide this thing around. See, this is that, this is that cleaner I'm gonna use. And it's in a liquid form. I don't have to mix it up or anything. I'm kind of anxious to use this to try it. This was the energy plus 680 let's do it <laughs> 